Hey. Hey. Okay. Hey. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Scotty Show. Tonight, we're gonna be reacting to Shannon Tunes by Baby Goyard. Uh, this is a, a quick six song EP. You guys know how I like these short EPs, man. You can never go wrong with a short EP. Cause, you, Cause most times you know that if it's an EP, it's only like three three to six songs, you know it's gonna be their, some of their best work. So I feel like uh, we're listening to this, we're gonna get some of Baby Goyard's best music that uh you know that we're gonna hear you know what i'm saying uh it may not be the best ever but i think it'll be his best body of work at, for this time that we're listening to it um and that's why I, I really like eps more than i like albums albums you know sometimes we get like filler and stuff like that on it and sometimes you don't know if they're really you know putting their all into it because albums are stressful as fuck and you you want you, you, a lot of people are focused on uh, especially when you're an independent artist you're, you're focused on a lot of like the promotion and everything getting people involved getting people wanting to listen to it building up hype and stuff like that and you forget about the actual content of the music um but with eps and stuff like that you really don't have expectations you just want to put out you know some music for the fans to listen to and i feel like there's you, you have more fun with the ep than you have an album it's more serious you focus on the sales you focus on making money so like that's like a big part of a, a of an album albums you know there, there's there's higher expectations for an album than there is like a mixtape or a or an ep like this but um yeah we're gonna get into this man shout, shout out to baby goyard too like i said super talented a legend in the underground scene um still doing the damn thing he's been doing this for a while guys um shit like ever since i like was listening to peep i'm pretty sure that i was listening to, listening to baby goyard or was aware of his music at the time um but Let's get into this man. This is Scotty Show. Please like, share, and subscribe. Let's do this. First song we're going to listen to is Presence Within. Let's get it. Joey on some shit like this. If he would have got Joey on this, it would have been crazy. I like that shh. It's a quiet place. That shit was fire. I like that. I like that right there. With the tincture got me moving wonky pace. I put a rock in city left with nothing but a flight to turn. It's a real white well, like candy cane. Movement devious. Not another boy meets world principal Feeny shit. Every time an interview I like is there a secret meaning to this. Face palm with the roll dance. That's about as strange as it gets. Pulling up in that cryptic. Not even sure it exists. Imagine a lifetime of this. I'm not a regular human. Tell your grandma thank you for the Farmville gift The Joe's practical write themselves at this point The Joe's practical wear sales Smoking on one I don't like this shit so we did it, did it, did it. Making the most for me I made eight figures off a PC Well that's a woke of me Your only friends for that K won't Matthew Perry me This is like the originality element that Baby Goyard has Where it's like like he's having like a kind he's like he's like he's rapping but then he's also having like a conversation on here as well like talking and shit and then like like i said like i really don't hear a lot of, a lot of rappers that like rap like him you know or or that like have like the same type of style you know um and 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 this is why like i have such a high appreciation for artists that do their own thing rather than trying to replicate a style that has already been created yeah you know you can be like okay yeah he has like some of like the thug elements like the young thug elements and stuff like that but he is he, he takes uh, i guarantee you he takes inspiration from that and like that auto-tune culture that was created through Lil Wayne, Kanye West, Young Thug, Future, and all them. But he takes inspiration from it, but he's not running with like their whole style. Just like how you see people running with, with Lil Uzi and Cardi style and stuff like that. Like you don't see him running with like literally verb like 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 you know 
copy and paste like literally there's way more artists that are doing the copy and paste than artists that are actually being original while taking inspiration from something that they listened to when they were younger or something they listened to just three months ago or some shit like that um it's, it's a really big difference and you know people like people like baby goyard are just one of those people that can get inspiration but not be a copycat you know what i'm saying that's a big difference I'm sorry if I yawn and it's not because I'm bored or anything like that. It's just because I ate a bunch of fucking Chinese food. I'm full as hell, nigga. Like, bro, I went to a, uh, I went to a Chinese buffet, man. I went crazy, bro. I went crazy. I went to the gym, and I was like, you know what, bro? We got to get them gains, cut. You know what I'm saying? I had to get them gains, bro. Ain't nothing but chicken, nigga, and, and potatoes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> First song was gas, man. We're gonna get into the next song. My friend is the black cat. <laughs> Hey, the way he be mixing his vocals is so crazy. Like, like my two favorite people that can uh, damn near, I, I would say my favorite people that know how to do like the vocal shit, I would say Bobby Raps and, and, and Baby Goyard, top two. 100% hands down. Shout out Bobby Raps. I was just talking to bro yesterday. But yeah, man, like top, top two has to be Baby Goyard and Bobby Raps, bro. Then they got that vocal shit down pat. Unless unless Bobby Raps is doing uh, Baby Goyard's vocals. I don't know who do it. I don't know if Baby Goyard do his own vocals, but man, like so so far, I feel like my top two favorite people that know how to do like that vocal shit is 100% Baby Goyard and Bobby Raps, bro. They're the ghost with that shit. Don't fly. She said, I love you so much. I want to see you inside. I said, I hate you so much. And it ruining lives. Black cats on their feet. Like I got nine lives. I can't trust what I can't touch. Treat this money like my bitch. 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 Like my bitch. Like my bitch. Like my bitch. Yeah. I put my phone down for the night. Nah, bro, baby Goyard, bro, he make like, it's like, he make pretty nigga music, bro. I swear to God, I just be feeling myself. I be like, damn, bitch. I be like, damn, bitch. I start dancing like, I remember that video of Thug where he was like, <laughs> I swear to God. Nigga, niggas start doing, niggas start dancing like Cardi in this bitch. Next song I'm gonna get to is Lovecraft. So far we two for two, y'all. This is fire. Next song, uh, that's it. Did I already say the song we're gonna get? Lovecraft? Yeah, Lovecraft, Sever the Chord. <laughs> Baby Goyard should make us. Uh, this this beat was making me think about that one nigga smoking dope, inhaling it. I did that video like he was like walking and smoking. He smoking dope, inhaling it. <laughs> he should do a song with that nigga. That should go crazy. <laughs> Keep 
trudging it all California raisins, raisins. raisins. Shit, that song was like that's almost chill as fuck, bro. That shit remind me of like a uh it sure remind me of like, you know, like like even though like it's crazy, like the time right now is like eight PM, like the sun's getting ready to like, you know, go down and shit. And it's like summertime. That, that summertime, nighttime is like the best. And like that's what like this song remind me of, bro. It remind me like that summertime, like nighttime type shit. And like you just in the car like cruise, you got the windows down. Don't like this is like when you like in high school and you broke, bro, and you can't even can't even afford gas money like that type shit. And you just ride around town with like the windows down, bro. And you cause you turn the AC on, bro. You burn it through gas with that shit. So you got the windows down and you just just chilling, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then you do this when you, when you, when your hand go through, like you know we got your hand out the window and you do this shit right here and then you get the wind. Like, ah! <laughs> That's that shit that they got me feeling, dog. You'll get to the next song, Claw Machines and DLC Packs. Everybody's dying. Pay no attention. It happens to us all. I'm wearing something with a hundred DLC packs right now. Count it out, count it out. I'm wearing something with a hundred DLC packs right now. Count it out, count it out. I'm wearing something with a hundred DLC Right now, count it out, count it out, yeah. I'm in the claw machine, I feel like I got ripped out. Still gon' do the Helly Hansen on when it get break Damn, bro. Uh, I wonder if Baby Goyard and Marjorie uh, W. Is it Marjorie? Yeah, Marjorie C. Claire. I wonder if Marjorie Sinclair and, uh, and Baby Goyard got music together. If not, I would love to hear like a collab. I would love to hear a collab like that. That would be a fire ass underground collab. And Cartier God, Cartier God, and Baby Goyard would be fire too. No cap, no cap. Still gon' do the hell he answer, no, and they get 
love this beat. It remind me of uh like like uh, PlayStation Two and shit. Like remind me of PS Two and Dreamcast, bro. Hundred percent, bro. So bro, this EP is fire. Like I told y'all, bro. It was gonna be all gas, no breaks. You know what I'm saying? Next time we're gonna get into is Destiny Fortunes the Vein. You will never grow old, and you will never die. It means something else to you, doesn't it? I shall never ever grow up. That B drop was crazy. It's like a ja like a Japanese like jazzy type, you know? Like that shit was crazy. Actual singing voice sounds like. I'm pretty sure he probably is a decent singer too. I I, 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 I wonder what it sounds like when he actually like tries to like sing and shit. It's probably fire. Because this harmonization with like the vocal mixing is insane, man. He's a, he's talented. I'm sorry, I'm stimming, okay, dumb bitch. I'm in a croquet, comfy, woolly knit. Oh. Next song we're getting to is Feathers Marked a Path. But uh yeah, I think his I think his uh his vocalizations and stuff like that super underrated. He's very talented. Um and sometimes people could like dismiss it, you know, because of the things that he talks about in his music. But like I said, a lot of this music and stuff that people listen to nowadays, um, it's really based on how you were raised as a kid, you know. Were you uh were you watching, you know, Adult Swim and were you watching you know, it could boil down to watching specific animes. It could boil down to you growing up watching Viva La Bam and, and Jackass and Wild Boys and stuff like that to just watching just straight up regular Disney Channel and whatever people thought was popular on TV at the time. And, and to some people, Viva La Bam was popular to, to you know, and some people were unaware of how, you know, certain things were, you know what I'm saying? I knew a lot of people that didn't know who even Stevens was, uh, you know, when I would like talk about like TV shows and shit like that. There's a lot of people that didn't know what Naruto was at the time when I was a kid growing up. Uh, Dragon Ball Z and stuff like that. Full Metal Alchemist, uh, Zatch Bell, um, uh, Gundam, you know what I'm saying? And and then, and then you have Samurai Shampoo and then like Adult Swim, you got you got Aqua T Hunger Force, Space Ghost to Coast. Um, Fuck, uh, Tim and Eric's awesome show. You got uh, Eric Andre show. Um, you had uh, Metalopolis. Metal Metalopolis, uh, like that. That show was fucking crazy as fuck too. Um, the Adventure Bro, Adventure Bros, you know, and shit like that. Um, the Family Guy, obviously King of the Hill and shit. And then uh, yeah, like and, like there's just so many shows on on. You know, I, I was more of a Cartoon Network kid. An Adult Swim kid more than I was a Disney Channel and, and Nickelodeon kid. You know what I'm saying? I loved anime. I loved uh, the maturity that that uh, that Cartoon Network had with its cartoons and stuff like that. And then I also loved MTV. I loved MTV a lot. I loved Viva La Bam, Wild Boys, Jackass, all that stuff. I was a big uh, Rob Deerdeck fan. Rob and Big. Really, I, I was a huge... I wanted Viva La Bam's life at one point. Like, I'm like, damn, bro, I wish I could just... I wish I could be good at skateboarding and shit and fucking, you know, do whatever the fuck I want, you know, and buy big ass houses and shit and do crazy shit. Um, yeah, like, like, 
is is really based on i feel like it's really based on what you were watching as a kid when you grew up and how you grew up you know what i'm saying that's why some people can just dismiss other artists that that have you know different references to things because they weren't hip to it as a child and then now a lot of these things are becoming popular again and then people are like oh since this is popular let me learn about it now um and then now you got people that you know i, I can't tell if they genuinely like certain things same thing with anime and i remember when i was you know, I'm, I'm sorry I'm going on this long ass rant, but I remember one time, you know, this was during like MySpace and shit, bro. Like I remember people used to be like, uh, uh, people would literally tell me anime was was gay. You know what I'm saying? And people would be like, you're weird for like an anime. Same thing with Odd Future. I remember when I was listening to Odd Future, people thought I was a devil worshiper. People thought people thought I worshipped the devil because I was listening to Tyler Creator at the time when he was not that popular yet, but people knew of him. But when they heard of his music, they thought like, oh, this guy's a, a 666 antichrist devil worshiping guy. But that wasn't the case. It was just the 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 scare tactic factor, or like the uh the, the to draw you in. Like even Three Six Mafia did that with their music, but Triple Six Mafia, um, and, and burning Bibles and stuff like that, and doing a whole bunch of other shit. But uh, yeah, like it, I I really do feel like it's based on how you were raised and how you grew up. You know, a hundred percent. Let's keep it going. <laughs> Twos, I keep them ones around Made them look, got a trick right up the sleeve Three, three, count, three, forty-five and counting I don't like them twos, I keep them ones around me Made them look, got a trick right up the sleeve Chanel sleeves A lot of weight I've been carrying I'm really gonna shit, everybody's speaking Sumerian I'm hoping that they care again Bamboo paper full of Nancy Kerrigan Go ahead, break a leg Brown bear, Fendi like I just killed Ted I'm sorry, my big body Mix some blending up in Paula's kitchen I just did a OMG and Rachel Ray's kitchen Strike count, 345 and count them twos, I keep them ones around me Made them look, got a trick right up the sleeve I count three, four, five and count I don't like them twos, I keep them ones around me Made them look, got a trick right up the sleeve Chanel sleeve Same person, different bracket, don't blame me for acting dumb I never had it, about to get up on my bone head shit Foreign cars sound like a noise Hope the thread count good for you 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 That's all, folks. That was the end of the EP. Like I said, man, um, this fire EP. Like I said, we were going to get what I thought was what he thought was his best, you know, music to put out so far with this EP. And I think that, that it is what it was. You know what I'm saying? I think this is this is probably some of his best music that he could put out for this EP. You know, six song EP, no skips. Um, this is a, like a, this. This could be an entry to to baby go yard especially if you're a new baby go yard listener i feel like this is a good ep to show people uh if you have friends and things like that like hey you want to listen to some baby go yard you can turn this bitch on and people are going to fuck with it it has like that trippy feeling but it also has references in here that people can relate with um like i said it just depends on how you were raised but it also has like that chill vibe about it like late night just chilling in the parking lot type shit you know what i'm saying like like that kind of vibe or just like house party you know, chilling type shit. You could cut this on at a house party with just like, you know, like homies and shit. That people like, you know, like listen. I like I like house party music, you know what I'm saying? And then this is like, you know, I'm talking about chill house party music. Not like, you know, you playing like some lit shit and there's like you got two hundred niggas in your house, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about like, you know, it's a good solid maybe like ten to ten to to fifteen people, maybe twenty pushing it. You know what I'm saying? Like some low key shit. Play some shit like that there. 
But yeah, man, I I really fuck with this project, man. It was sick, man. Baby Goyard still doing the damn thing, bro. Still out here pushing. And that's all I can ask for, you know what I'm saying? But uh, this is the Scotty Show. Please like, share, and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comment section about this EP. Thank y'all. Peace out. Hey. Okay. Uh, hey. Hey.